Stems are vital structures in plants, serving as conduits for the transport of nutrients and water, supporting leaves, flowers, and fruits, and sometimes storing food. They exhibit a sophisticated internal architecture that enables them to fulfill these diverse functions effectively. Let's delve into the detailed structure of stems. From the outside, stems can vary significantly in appearance, ranging from the woody trunks of trees to the soft, green stems of herbaceous plants. Regardless of their external differences, the internal structure of stems shares common features designed to support the plant and facilitate transport. The outermost layer of the stem is the epidermis, which serves as a protective barrier against physical damage and pathogens. It may be covered by a waxy cuticle to reduce water loss. In woody plants, the epidermis is eventually replaced by bark as the stem ages. Beneath the epidermis lies the cortex, a region composed of parenchyma cells that often store food and other substances. The cortex may also contain cholenchyma cells that provide additional support, especially in young stems, and sclerenchyma cells that contribute to rigidity. The most critical part of the stem's internal structure is the vascular bundles, which are distributed throughout the stem. These bundles contain xylem and phloem tissues, organized in different patterns depending on whether the plant is a dicot or a monocot. The xylem is responsible for transporting water and minerals from the roots to the rest of the plant. In dicots, xylem is typically found on the inside of the vascular bundle. Phloem transports organic nutrients, primarily sugars produced through photosynthesis, from the leaves to other parts of the plant. In dicots, phloem is located on the outer side of the vascular bundle. In monocots, vascular bundles are scattered throughout the stem, while in dicots, they are arranged in a ring. In dicot stems, the cambium is a layer of meristematic tissue located between the xylem and phloem. The cambium is crucial for secondary growth, allowing the stem to increase in girth by producing new xylem and phloem cells. At the center of the stem is the pith, composed of parenchyma cells that often store nutrients and help in the transport of materials within the stem. In some plants, the pith can become hollow as the plant matures. Following are the specialized structures associated with the stem. Lenticels are small, spongy openings in the bark of woody stems that facilitate gas exchange between the internal tissues and the external environment. The next one is nodes and internodes. Nodes are points on the stem where leaves and buds are attached, while internodes are the segments between nodes. The length and number of internodes can vary, influencing the overall growth pattern of the plant. In woody plants, the bark consists of all tissues outside the vascular cambium, including the phloem, cortex, and outer protective layers. The bark protects the stem and reduces water loss. Now, let's discuss some functions of the stem. Stems provide structural support, holding leaves, flowers, and fruits in positions where they can receive optimal light and air. Vascular bundles in the stem transport water, minerals, and nutrients throughout the plant. Some stems store food, water, and other nutrients. The cambium allows for secondary growth, increasing the diameter of the stem in woody plants. The epidermis and, in woody plants, the bark protect the internal tissues from environmental damage and pathogen invasion. So, the intricate internal structure of stems, comprising the epidermis, cortex, vascular bundles, cambium, and pith, equips them to support the plant, transport essential substances, and facilitate growth and storage. This sophisticated architecture highlights the stem's central role in maintaining plant vitality and enabling growth. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.